What's up? Hello, welcome back to the I Chronicles. Time going back to the gym in a year. I decide it's time to go back. Get in the gym. I'll see you there. All right, so I'm in the car and I think I'm ready to roll. And uh, I will see y'all there. I got all my equipment ready here. I got my little water there. Of course, I got my wrist sleeves. Got my elbow sleeves. My wrist strap, actually. And uh, I guess we'll get into this now. Uh, and I will see y'all when I get there. All right, so I finally made it here to my destination, to the gym, which is going to be Crunch Fitness here. Hope y'all can see there. Riding through here. Uh, so we're in the light to park. Cause I don't trust people's around my car here. I don't think too many people like to see Hellcats and Scat Packs and cars like this. Uh, but I'll try something, so you know how that go. So anyway, I'm gonna pull up in here and I'm gonna find my pocket spot and I'll see y'all when I get in. All right, so what you see me doing here, I'm surveying this gym, Crunch Fitness. Never been in a gym this big before in a small town. I'm surveying the dumbbells. These things go from 2.5 lips all the way up to 120 lips. 120 lips have never been heavy to me before, but being that I'm just starting back, I'm not trying to get hurt, so I'm just going to go through the progression as we go. Alright, so what you see in here, I'm doing between 20 to 21 reps. With 25 lips, I'm doing a warm up set. The warm up set does not count towards your work set. The purpose of a warm up set is to get the muscles flowing with blood, to get that muscle prepared for the workload that you are about to put on it. Particularly in this video, of course, since I'm working shoulders, it's me getting my deltoids warmed up for the work set that is about to come. So that's that. All right, so moving on, what we're doing here is I'm doing a set of 20 to 21 again, but this time this is work set number one with 45 pound dumbbells. Shoulders is one of my strongest assets. However, still you want to ease into a muscle if you haven't worked that muscle in quite a time. So again, I've done between 20 to 21 reps. Felt nice, I could have done more weight, but I so uh, the next set I started uh, with the same weight. I decided to go more at a slow and controlled movement so I can feel the muscles being worked. That is the proper way to work the deltoid muscle or whatever muscle that you are working for that particular workout. You want to control the muscle up and you want to control the muscle down. Push up and come down slowly at a controlled fashion. You want to keep tension on them deltoid muscles there. So moving right along. This particular set is the 55 pound dumbbells heavier. I'm making sure I get that mind muscle connection. Notice I'm slowing down, getting that squeeze at the top and controlling it at the bottom. That's what you want to do to make sure you get the best effect out of the muscle right there. So moving on to my last set with the dumbbell presses. Again, focusing on the contraction, the control of the movement. I cannot stress enough how important that is. Getting the blood flow into the deltoid muscles, controlling the mind-muscle connection. That's what you're going to get your benefits and your results at there. All right, moving on. So we get here to the shoulder press machine here. You want to hit the shoulder at a different angle. The purpose of these different machines is to hit the muscle that you work different angles, different variations, because if you get uh, exercise and you do the same exercise with the same equipment whether it's dumbbell or machines your muscle will adapt to what you're doing you want to keep the muscles guessing in this case it is your deltoid muscles so let's move on to the next one all right so this exercise here these are side lateral raises a lot of people get this wrong you want to go as high as right before your shoulder level. You want to come down 
but not all the way down. You want to keep tension on that side lateral muscle. At no particular time during this movement, you should be relaxing. Your muscles should always be contracting. So this exercise you see me doing here, a lot of people don't do. These are real delt raises. A lot of people do not do this. Real delt raises are very important. You want to have a balanced shoulder. Remember, you got front, side, medial, and lateral shoulders. So you have to work every part of your shoulders, and that is very important, people. Yes, I tend to add another pressing movement. However, this is a more strict pressing movement. You can never do enough variation of pressing movements. I add this pressing movement and my last exercise will be my shoulder trap movements, which are called shrugs. And you will see right after this. So, as you can see, I'm moved up to the 100 pound dumbbells. The reason that I'm doing it in the rear, so you can understand the importance of tucking that chin in, so you can go all the way up to contract them trapezius muscles. A lot of people do it wrong again. They have their chin straight forward. You cannot go all the way up to contract them trapezius muscles. That's the purpose of me turning around and squeezing them trapezius muscles as I have my chin tucked. I wanted you to see that angle there. So the next angle will be from the front view. And notice I will have my chin tucked and I will be coming all the way up. And notice I will slightly have my elbow bent. That helps you go up even higher with your trapezius muscle. The guy that was talking to me, he was in amazement of me doing 100 pound dumbbell shrugs. I never get into numbers. I always use what it takes to stimulate my muscles. Have nothing to do with ego, ego lifting and I advise you never to ego lift. And with that being said, that's going to be it for uh, the shoulder movements. So that concludes my first workout back in the gym in the year. So I think it went pretty well. Of course, I didn't want to go hard because you got to work your way back into it. And we ain't been here that long anyway. So, you know, I'm just feeling my way back into it. So today I've done shoulders, you know, like I told you. And um, tomorrow, or the next workout, it'll be back. Back and biceps. Alright, and until then, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, comment, share, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace. Well, uh, how did I feel for this day? Uh, my first day back in the gym and the end of the year, I feel real good. I haven't been in the gym in a year, like I say, if you look at my videos prior to this, you know I got hit by 18 wheel and fractured my neck and all that. A UPS 18 wheeler, lawsuit by the seller, probably within another seven months, if that, and um, stuff like that. But uh, I mean, you know, it is what it is, though. So, you know, let me get back in my catch my scat pack and hit home. And I'll talk to y'all next time. Y'all make sure y'all hit that subscribe button. Make sure you share, comment, subscribe, man. And uh, next workout, we'll do back. And I'll see y'all next time. Until then, peace.